Hello, good evening. This is Paul Lennon. Are uh, you seeing me? Yes. Uh, Legionary of Christ for 23 years. I was a professed religious and ordained priest. I worked on the missions, one of the few who did, and spent two periods there, 75, 71 to 75 and 82 to 84. So I did my bit for the missions and mostly enjoyed it. And it was very good for me and helped me find myself to some degree and the faith that had been suffering a lot uh, in the Legion during my formative years. But as I said, I was reviewing the uh, materials this morning, the Legion material, promotional materials, and now it's kind of a, everything is renewed now, the Legion, after the visitation by the Vatican, after their chapter general, we have a new uh, general director, who is Father John Connor. Notice it is not, I, I, I would have thought it was John O'Connor, but no, they took the O away. Uh, it's only John Connor. Now notice, notice Father Connor's collar. That's very legionary. I believe he's in a cassock, which is uh, you know, when you're in the house, in the in the uh, in the in the house, you wear the uh, mostly the cassock around the place. And then also, uh, I I got a close up of him, and I notice he has beautiful blue eyes. Now this. Uh, this is not a joke, but uh, blue eyes are very, and, and those uh, light colored eyes are very attractive in Latin America because um, most people there, a lot, well, not, not most people, a lot of people have uh, brown eyes, different shades of brown. Sometimes they're very beautiful, like a honey brown eyes. Give me a break. And, uh, but but uh, people do notice. I mean, I, this is one of, my, one of my experiences in Mexico when I went there, uh, that they do notice the color of your eyes and, and uh, the light colored eyes. And the light complexion, people find that attractive. And I was saying that when the Irish Institute was founded in Mexico City back in 1970, Father Maciel brought a bunch of Irish uh, students, seminarians over there uh, to launch the uh, college, which was very, the, excuse me, the school, elementary school. Uh, no, what would it be? Uh, no, the whole, the, whole, the whole shebang, one through 12. And there was even a kid, in, they started with a kindergarten. And so uh, that was wonderfully uh, uh, successful. And some of it had to do with, with the, the, those little sparkling Irish eyes and, uh, you know, the, the foreignness of the whole thing. I mean, the foreignness uh, attracted me to the Legion. So other people are attracted by the foreignness of the missionaries who go there uh, or to the not really missionaries. As you know, Legionaries are not missionaries. They only have the one mission in the whole world. But um, the teachers, the directors, a lot of, a lot of high schools, and uh, even colleges and so forth. And then, of course, the movement is all over the place in Latin America, USA, etc., and uh, all over Latin America and Spain, Italy, too, to some degree. So, uh, you know, very, 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 very successful. And so the Legion is, is giving us the smiles. And uh, there's Father, Father John. And, um, but as I say, um, the, 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 the smiling faces reminded me of my favorite song. Which my, my sisters couldn't get me to shut up when I was singing at home. A certain smile, a certain face can lead an unsuspecting heart on a merry chase. A fleeting glance can say so many lovely things. Suddenly, you know. Why my heart sings. I changed the lyrics a little bit, as you can see, and try to make a little bit more, you know, ad hoc, as they say. And uh, what about those smiling faces? These two chaps, now these are handsome, if I may say so. Uh, I hope it's not um, politically incorrect or catholically incorrect to say that these are two handsome seminarians, and one is blonde and the other is dark. Sorry for pointing out these things. I hope the ladies will not be too uh, offended. There's a bunch of the young lads too. Look at this. These are fine fellas. They're, these are very young fellas. There's a nice mix there. There with uh, might be even some half light colored Latinos. I don't see many from the black folks around there. Uh, at least not in these photographs I'm seeing there. I'm sure there's a big black... Uh, contingent there uh, in the in the Legion, which I haven't seen yet, but they're probably uh, keeping them in reserve uh, for when, uh, you know, for uh, the next time a black person is 
elected to the government in the United States as president. Here's a really smiling guy. Oh, God, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. He is beaming. This guy is, I didn't say, the word came out now naturally. He's beaming. He's absolutely beaming. And I think he's a priest. He, this is his ordination. This is in Rome. I think this is St. Peter, almost like St. Peter's or something. And um, Robles Hill, excuse me, I think the previous uh, director general is there. Well, let me tell you. You spend some years, then you're no use. You'll find you're on the street outside, lamenting your abuse. Sorry. I know a guy, several guys who slept, you know, on the floor, on the stone floor. There's no, no doubt about that. And one of them now is a, a great lawyer. He graduated. I won't say from where. Okay. And in the hush of night, exactly like a bittersweet refrain, comes that legion smile to mock your mind again. You spent ten years. And... Uh, then you're no use. Thank you. You were in Montreal for a while, chaps. You were nice French Canadian brothers, or maybe priest. I don't know. And then the thing collapsed because of all the uh, scandals, and you you just got moved somewhere else. Sorry to hear that. Okay, you, you know you just you, sorry, sorry, sorry. This is we're we're an army. We got to move people around quickly from one station to the other. You spend ten years, then you're no use. You'll find you're on the street outside lamenting your abuse. But in the hush of night, exactly like a bitter sweet refrain, comes that legion smile, legion smile, to mock your mind again. Thank you, Johnny Mathis. See you again. And sayonara, senoritas. I know somebody called you uh, in the evening, in the night, you were getting ready for, for, for last prayers or something, and the, uh, the director came across and said to you, uh, uh, perdone, excuse me, uh, Diana, excuse me, Lily, excuse me, uh, Laura, excuse me, Elena, um, just got news today that you don't have a vocation to the consecrated life. Uh, you're, and you're sharp out of your skin. You're, you're dumbfounded. Before you have time to say very much, she says, uh, yes, it's very, very sad. Uh, would you be so kind? Because we're, we're very, we're very uh, polite, you know. Uh, we got that from the Mexicans. Forgive me, Mexicans. Uh, would you be so polite as to go upstairs and, and pack your things and then uh, get ready for tomorrow morning? Uh, and then we're at the dawn. Just come down to the reception area and... Uh, I'm going to have to say our goodbyes. We don't want you to cut. Don't tell anybody. You, you would only cause a stir among the other young ladies and uh, you might affect their, their vocation. And so it's better for you not to say any, anything to anybody. It's, it's just not, it's not our custom. And uh, so that'll be okay. And, and you're, you're, you're a nice, you're a nice girl. You're American, by the way, so you don't need you know, you don't need a, a like a plane ticket or something like that. Uh, we're going to get you. We actually already have your your greyhound, greyhound ticket, and that will be given to you in the morning when the driver comes to take you to the station, right? So don't, don't worry, don't worry too much. Uh, you're a wonderful person, and I'm sure you'll go on to be a wonderful wife and and mother. I'm sure you have all the blessings of, of God because you were so generous as to as to surrender yourself to him for for 10 or 15 years uh, in, in the community. But, uh, you know, there you go. Uh, so until tomorrow, uh, senorita, hasta pronto, verdad? Bye bye. And in the hush of night, you will go so sadly to your room. Comes that legion smile to mark your mind again.
sorry. Adios. Bye.